Um, hermit crab meat. Well, I said I wanted to see another one. And he interrupted my macabre tirade. But what I was saying is like, dude, there's like so much time between those events of the past that you're kind of glossing that over. It's like years between some of that stuff and you're thinking like all the good stuff's in the past. It's like, get a grip, man. It's fine. Like you're just down in the dumps from having... I guess part of it's kind of like, where did the last three years of my life go? Um, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't, I don't know. There's part of me that has like a very slight deep fear that my ex-girlfriend will be watching this, but I highly doubt it. There, I, I have no reason to really believe that, but it's like... my The biggest mistake I made was kind of thinking like... I was kind of always expecting the the goodness in the relationship or the the greatness or the spark to kind of like come but it should really be there from the beginning it's not just going to come all of a sudden there's not going to be some magic thing that freaking makes it start happening and that's really been kind of like hard on me <sighs> is that I didn't know that or that I didn't realize that soon enough because a lot of people who I've talked to afterwards well pretty much everyone has said like they didn't think we were a good fit so my first reaction was like, well, why didn't you tell me you weren't, we weren't a good fit? But it's like, of course they're not going to tell me that. But then, th then it goes to like, well, why didn't I ask anyone about it? And maybe it's because I subconsciously knew I was worried about it or something. I don't know. Point being, if it, the way it feels from day one is how it's, gen well, not day one, but after like a month, it's either going to be there or it ain't going to be. But honestly, like, it really should feel, like, pretty damn good from the beginning. And it was always kind of just, like, for me, I was kind of just, like, almost, I don't want to say apathetic, but I was kind of just like, eh, we'll see what happens. That, no, that's not good enough. That's that's worse than bad, because with that, you don't... Wow, something's really radioactive there. Uh... Shit. These things aren't really made for crossing the water. I mean, I guess I just walk underwater. It takes a little while. Being apathetic about it is worse than, like, knowing it won't work. Because knowing it won't work means then you have resolution within, like, days or weeks. But if you're apathetic about it, you can kind of be like that frog that gets slowly boiled alive or whatever it is. Ah, so, well, very valuable lesson life learned. Very, very valuable life lesson learned. Probably took two years. Shit, don't you dare get stuck. Probably took two years too long to learn it, in hindsight, but it's all good. It actually feels pretty good to say that out loud. I don't know that I've actually even said that to anyone yet. I can have a hard time opening up my feelings, but here I am just talking to myself, basically, and trying to convince myself that I'm not. <laughs> but you guys are here to listen. Not sure if you came here for this. But... I've definitely talked about stuff like this before, so I imagine... <laughs> oh, hello. Give me the ammo. And you guys know about this. But it feels like I'm on the up and up. Because through all this loneliness, like, this kind of hit me, like, mostly in, like, the past month. And the breakup was three months ago. I've been wanting to hang out with everyone, do everything all the time. That's kind of why the recordings have been suffering. Just wanted to be around people. But I'm kind of feeling that starting to... Eve off in the other direction, or ease off in the other direction ever so slowly. Because my roommate had a few friends over the other night, and I was hanging out with them. We were drinking and stuff. And towards the end of it, I was kind of starting to get like, all right, <laughs> I want my distance from people a little bit again. So that a few days later, it's kind of got me like, okay, starting to come back around from this. I also went out, went out on my first date this past Sunday. First first date in over three years <laughs> and three months since the breakup I was actually like nervous for it I haven't been nervous for a date well by the time I met my girlfriend I haven't been nervous for a date in a long fucking time which is interesting but pretty much like as soon as I saw her I was like fine about it what the hell is this Okay, that uses a 7.62 as well. Look at that fucking thing. 
Wow, that 7.62 gun has the potential to be really good. Just gonna find fucking 7.62. I feel like I've had that before in this game. I will take the nuclear material. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, I don't know why, like, how that weird wolf sound shit got through QA or whatever. Through their quality control. But, uh, it's very loud. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good first date. Um, we met up for coffee at 10 on a Sunday, 10 a.m. Before I knew it, it was like nearly 2. So time fucking flew. We had a good time talking. Oh, I thought the fan was Wild Tarberry for a second. You know what's actually funny? <laughs> so at one point she thought I was like in a fraternity in college because of like how social I was being. I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, there's, it's not like there's anything wrong with that from my perspective. It's just like... I never imagined myself being in a fraternity, and it's kind of hard for me to see how someone could imagine that. But I guess that just shows how much we clicked. Because if I don't really like someone, or if I feel indifferent about someone, I don't really talk to them too much. But if I like someone, like, I'll talk their ass off, of course. I think that's true for everyone to varying degrees. I think extroverted people might be able to talk more to everyone. Um, but yeah, I found that very interesting. <laughs> but yeah, so that was good. That was good to get back out there. Oh, I, I wasn't even, like, sneaking for that shit. Damn, I thought he was gonna freaking go into that B stream. Dude. There you go. Oh, I thought that fur was very, like, eccentric all of a sudden. Or, like, very, like, flow flowy. Alright, let's do this goddamn perk shit while we're freaking here. I don't remember what I was trying to go for with this. Uh... Party boy. <laughs> I'm Aqua Boy. <laughs> Did I want Rad Resistance? No. Cannibal? I thought I wanted something on this tree, didn't I? Wait, wait, wait. What the heck did I want? Son of a bitch. This is what I wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. So let's just up that agility. I don't know how high the levels go in this game, man. I don't know how much latitude I have left to work with that. Okay, I thought it was going to give me another perk. So is this like a settlement that I can find over here? That can be part of the fucking settlement network or whatever. Because I did all that shit off screen after I finished the game. Yeah, it's a cranberry ball go right. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh. Sorry, I felt like I wanted to sneeze. Um, I take allergy medicine like over the shell, over the counter Claritin, and it really feels like for some reason something about it stifles sneezes, and it st a stifled sneeze is the worst bullshit in the fucking world, man. Dude, something sounds like it's like mechanical machinery grinding and crap. There's a fan. That one's not spinning. They're usually spinning slightly. How do you do this, like... I don't even remember how you do the fucking... I don't even remember how you toggle, like, the building shit for doing a settlement. There's, like, a button you press. Well, I'm not gonna do any of that crap on camera. But interesting. Okay, let's keep moving on here. There's something else over this way to discover some more dock. Docky Doc type stuff, so let's go check it out. And not like a hey doc, but like, you know, <laughs> a port. A small port. A small portly little fuck. Interesting lighting right now. It's not very foggy at the moment. Cranberry. Oh shit. Uh, come here, you. 
Oh, what? What was that? Something just spit at me. A king. Oh, that's uh, terrifying. What am I doing? No. Didn't want to exit Vats completely. I just wanted to like get rid of whatever bullshit moves you were trying to get me to do. Dude, don't be. Oh, nice, man. I critted his ass. Those things definitely seem to be kind of weak in this game. Uh, they're interesting looking, though. They're not as terrifying as the fucking <laughs> ones from Fallout 3 or New Vegas or whatever. I just gotta, like, crouch down there, man. Get at their underbelly. Get at that wee soft Irish underbelly. <laughs> Why does a Mylark have an Irish underbelly? I don't know. Uh, what the heck? Why is that lighthouse just sinking out there? Holy fuck. A key? Dude, fuck that. There's gotta be some other way in here. <gasps> Look at all this shit in here, dude. Dude, I got a power armor. I can just walk through this wall. Be like Homer Simpson when they go to Japan. <laughs> just walk through that paper door, dude. Here's our room. Homer, you're supposed to slide those doors open. I don't have time for that. There's no hole in the roof or nothing? Dude, where the hell is there a key for this place, man? What? 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 I don't think I've, like, ever cooked in this game. None of those lurks have a key, do they? Alright, whatever. Uh, fine. We'll see you later, Cranberry Bog. Probably won't ever come back there. Is there, like, a more shallow part to this body of water? Okay, well, didn't go over in my head just then, so I guess this is a shallow part. There's a tree! We're coming up. Holy Christ! A devolved <laughs> rat stag? What does that mean, devolved? They yeah, open that shit. Uh, sir? Thank you. Don't stare me with that frickin' machete in your hand. Isn't there a movie called Machete with Lindsay Lohan in it? She gets kinda naky. I don't know. Poor Lindsay Lohan, man. Don't know what happened to that woman. She used to be pretty hot. You know, like Freaky Friday, Mean Girls era. Oh yeah. Prime Lindsay Lohan. Hello. Uh, I know, it seems like you guys want to meet a missile launcher here. Oh shit. Oh, I fail. Nikki V, I fell. Where are you, Nikki V? Are you good? I have an RPG, and I'm ready to use it. I hear Nikki V shooting. Where the fuck? Oh, <laughs> oh shit, they just fucking, like, murked Nikki V. Dude, look at me when I'm talking to you. That was a big explosion. Nikki V. Don't drown. Is, is this thing charging my... Oh, shit! Yeah, it is. Okay. Wow. Don't be taking a chomp out of Nikki V. Bitch. Wow. Yeah, those things are scary. Uh, they were scary in Fallout 3 because they were, like, freakishly fast. I guess they were kind of like trolls in Oblivion and Skyrim for that regard, the Yalgwais. Just like defying laws of physics fast. <laughs> like something that big can't move that quickly. With known substances without creating such undue stress that their limbs just snap off or something. But the ones in here are much more grounded. They're just like radioactive bears. 
And there's supposed to be bears in freaking Fallout 3 too. Are there any Yalguais in New Vegas? I don't remember there being any Yalguai in New Vegas. Now we're out here on these little islands. Dude, I'm just exploring all this shit, man. I just want to see all this crap. So we were going to get to some dialogue. So let's get one more thing. Whatever the hell that logo is supposed to be, we'll get it. Can I even walk across this body of water? Let's actually go. Oh, I can't go there yet. Why is it on my map? Uh, let's go this way. I just heard a very small plane fly overhead, which is atypical. I'm in the pattern for Baltimore, Washington International Airport. So I tend to hear a lot of 737s, some DC 10s, maybe L 1011s. I don't know. I think they're DC 10s, though. Or MD 11s. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh god, is this like a sheer cliff face over here? Uh, my name is Jeff. I just want to get up. Shit. Oh boy. Um, yeah. I'll see you back once I get up this thing. Oh wait, is this it right here? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Don't really have to cut out any of that. <gasps> the moon. Have I seen the moon yet? Look at that moon. That's a great moon. You can actually tell it's like a moon. That's awesome, dude. What is like backlighting it though? Because like the sun part shining on there would be too bright for you to see like the earth glow on the rest of it. I don't know. I'm thinking about it too much. It's pretty. I don't care. But yeah, if it's like a new moon, the, uh, you can get like a decent enough exposure camera, or I guess if you like looked at it hard enough, the moon will be ever so slightly like blue. Now I guess no. No, not on a new moon. What the fuck? What the hell is this? What the hell is a skulking fog crawler? Dude, what is all this crap like running up on me, man? And Nikki B's about to get fucking ganked. Oh god, we were just sitting here and this thing fucking just comes up on us. And Nikki B is taking the brunt of all this abuse. Like a fucking trooper. Jesus Christ. What is this thing? Holy Christ. Yeah, get goopified, bitch. What the fuck? I'm just sitting here trying to explain Earth Glow. This thing comes fucking running up. Well, that's probably what killed this dude. Yeah, suck on that. Um, no, it wouldn't, you wouldn't want it to be a new moon. Because a new moon would mean that you can't see them. Wait. <laughs> a new moon would be at night, so the new moon would be dark. Because the sun would be in front of the moon. Why am I having a hard time envisioning this? It's because if the sun if the moon's completely dark, that would mean the sun would be behind it and you'd have to be able to see the the sun. I don't know. I'm trying to. Uh, my brain is just going on overdrive trying to think about the 3D 3D ness of that. I guess the new moon can't be high in the sky by default. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna stop thinking about it too much. We're in a little town here. Someone with more astral knowledge can fill in those gaps. <laughs> but yeah, there's. So, I guess. I no. I guess in this case you would still be able to see the Earth glow. You just have to focus on the non-illuminated part of the moon. Hello, what is this? But basically, like, if it's like, if the moon is, if it, if the moon's like partially visible during the day, 
or at night. The earth, the light that reflects off the earth can illuminate the dark part of the moon. And since the earth is mostly blue, the moon has like a nice, very subtle blue glow to it. Alright, let's fucking go in here and kill super mutants. 